Hello and welcome. You're watching today in Parliament with me, Ashwarya Kapoor. Here are the Parliament headlines. Rajya Sabha slated to take up Special Economic Zones Amendment Bill 2019 today. Bill passed by Lok Sabha yesterday allows the trust to set up units in SEZs. Calling attention motion on climate change listed in the upper house, Environment, Forest and Climate Change Minister to reply on the steps taken by the government. Lok Sabha scheduled to discuss Homeopathy Central Council Amendment Bill 2019, Aadhaar and Other Laws Amendment Bill, three key bills including Central Educational Institutions Reservation in Teachers Card Bill listed for introduction. First, a look at the legislative business uh, that is uh, listed in today's agenda in the Lok Sabha. The Central Educational Institutions Reservation in Teachers Card Bill 2019 will be moved and introduced by Union Minister Ramesh Pokhriyal Nishank. Now, this bill aims uh, to fill up more than 7,000 existing vacancies by direct recruitment in accordance with the new quota system. It will replace uh, the Central Educational Institutions Reservation in Teachers Card Ordinance 2019. Union Minister Dr. Harsh Vardhan will move and introduce the Indian Medical Council Amendment Bill 2019 to amend the Indian Medical Council Act 1956. Now, this bill is aimed at bringing in transparency, accountability and quality in the governance of medical education in the country. It also aims uh, to provide for the supersession of the Medical Council of India for a period of two years from August 2018. Dr. Harsh Vardhan will also move and introduce the Dentist Amendment Bill 2019 to amend the Dentist Act 1948. The amendment will help restructure the dental councils and the representation of uh, the central government members and elected members would no longer be made mandatory in the dental councils. Ayush Minister Shripad Yesu Naik will move the Homeopathy Central Council Amendment Bill 2019 for consideration and passing. The bill amends the Homeopathy Central Council Act 1973 and it seeks to extend the period for reconstitution of the Central Council from an existing period of one year to two years. And Union Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad will move for consideration and passing the Aadhaar and Other Laws Amendment Bill 2019. The bill proposes the voluntary use of Aadhaar as an identity proof for opening of bank accounts and procuring mobile connections. The bill was introduced in Parliament uh, once again on Monday and, was, and will replace the Aadhaar Ordinance. And the Special Economic Zones Amendment Bill 2019 was passed by the lower house yesterday. Now the bill seeks to allow trusts to set up units in SEZs that are Special Economic Zones. Introducing the bill, Commerce and Industry Minister Piyush Goel said that uh, Special Economic Zones play an important role in promoting exports and economic growth of the country. Goel said that in 2014, SEZs created 12 lakh jobs and in 2019, it rose to 20 lakh. The minister also rejected his suggestions by Congress leader in Lok Sabha Adi Ranjan Chaudhary that the concept of SEZ has failed in India. In investment in the country, 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 in कि चूंकि हम इंटरनेशनल फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज सेंटर्स वगैरह इस देश में आए निवेश आए अलग-अलग प्रकार के जो मॉडर्न इन्वेस्टमेंट के व्हीकल्स हैं वो भी इस देश में आ सके उसमें इस देश में कोई विलंब होने से किसी को लाभ नुकसान नहीं था जैसे ही ध्यान में आया और सेबी ने एक नोटिफिकेशन निकाला जिसके तहत अल्टरनेट इन्वेस्टमेंट फंड्स को अलाउ किया कि वो भी इन्वेस्ट कर सके तो सरकार को लगा कि ये अच्छा रहेगा कि देश में अल्टरनेट इन्वेस्टमेंट फंड्स के माध्यम से स्पेशल इकोनॉमिक जोन्स यानी जो फाइनेंस के क्षेत्र में इंटरनेशनल फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज सेंटर के रूप में काम करती हैं उसमें भी ये अलाउ किया जाए
Kriti Mishra, our colleague, is now joining us live from Parliament. Uh, Kriti, good morning. Uh, so, talking about uh, Lok Sabha, so discussion uh, on two key bills are slated in the lower house, including the Aadhaar bill. Of course, that was introduced by Law Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad last week, you know, where he had spoken of uh, how Aadhaar does not violate privacy and is also in national interest. Uh, so, discussion on, of course, another bill uh, that will, uh, uh, you know, help the Central Council of Homeopathy in, in exercising its powers today. So, discussion on two key bills in the lower house. Well, that's right, Eshwara. So, the lower house has heavy legislative agenda today. And as you mentioned, there would be discussion and the ministers would move, move the bill for passage of uh, these crucial bills. That is the Aadhaar laws, uh, Aadhaar and other laws amendment bill and also the Homeopathy Central Council amendment bill. Remember the Aadhaar and other laws amendment bill that seeks to make Aadhaar optional for opening bank account for KYC and also simplifying the entire process. As far as the Homeopathy Central Council Amendment Bill is concerned, that seeks to extend the period for reconstitution of the council and further fortifying the council and board of governors. So two important bills are there in the Lok Sabha for passage, as well as important bills are there for introduction, the Dentist Amendment Bill, the Indian Medical Council Amendment Bill, and also a bill to fill the vacant post in teaching institutions. So important day as far as the lower house is concerned. Over to Ashwara. Pretty talking about the three key bills, uh, of course, that are going to be introduced in the lower house today, not discussed. I'm talking about introduction in the lower house. Uh, there are three key bills. Tell us about uh, the importance of these bills, how significant these bills are. Well, as far as the Indian Medical Council Amendment Bill is concerned, it seeks to fix accountability in the medical education system and also seeks to supersede the Medical Council of India with Board of Governance of uh, Governors of Eminent Doctors. There's another important bill, which is the Dentist Amendment Bill, that also seeks to fortify the Dental Council Bill, the Dental Councillor of India. So certainly important bills are there in the Lok Sabha for introduction today. Aishwarya? Absolutely. So, key legislative agenda in the lower house. Kriti, stay with us. We'll just come back to you because we also need to talk about uh, the Rajya Sabha. So, a look at today's agenda in the Rajya Sabha. The Special Economic Zones Amendment Bill 2019 will come up in the upper house today for consideration and passing. Now, the bill became the first legislation to be passed by the newly constituted 17th Lok Sabha yesterday. And in the post-lunch session, a calling attention motion by... SP MP Revati Raman Singh is also listed in today's business to discuss the situation arising out of climate change in the country and the steps taken by the government on the issue. The issue of climate change and water crisis is in fact resonating in parliament in this session with the MPs cutting across party lines, raising this issue and calling for immediate steps to be taken. In fact, Prime Minister Modi yesterday also said that there are 226 districts in the country that are hit by water crisis and he asserted that the government will uh, ensure and in fact is making efforts to mobilize everyone to tackle the crisis and give priority to water in the MP LED funds. Uh, let's go back to Kriti Mishra. Kriti, uh, talking about uh, the business in the upper house today, of course, Revati Raman Singh will call attention of the Minister of Environment, Forest and Climate Change on the situation arising out of climate change in the country. Of course, this issue has been resonating uh, ever since the budget session uh, started in both houses. What can we expect uh, on this uh, discussion? Well, it's a very important discussion, Eshwarya. And remember, global, uh, globally also, climate change is one of the major causes of the concern, of the concern and also the United Nations um, Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change has said that climate change would result in erratic rainfall and severe droughts and floods and also severe temperature differences. Now, India is committed to aligning its policies uh, with the Paris Climate Change Accord of 2016, limiting the temperature rise to 1.5 degrees Celsius of the pre-industrial level. The government is also talking about promoting electronic vehicles to combat uh, climate change and has also uh, tasked scientist N.K. Ravindran for uh, conducting a study on climate change and its impact on India. So the members of the Rajya Sabha would seek answers from the government and the solution to combat climate change and its impact. Ashwarya? Absolutely. And of course, uh, the Special Economic Zones Amendment Bill 2019 will also be taken up for consideration in the Rajya Sabha today. Uh, remember, it was uh, passed by the Lok Sabha yesterday. Thank you so much, Kriti, for all those updates there from Parliament. And with that, we wrap up this edition of Today in Parliament. To stay tuned, the proceedings of the Upper House are going to commence in a short while from now. Thanks for watching.